Hello, Fox District teachers. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. We can start merging our assignments from Google Classroom and start taking those grades and importing them directly into Tyler. So let's take this step by step and start with step one. How do we merge the classes that are in Google Classroom and put them and merge them with our classes that are in Tyler? So first what we need to do is log into Tyler 360. So when you're on the main login screen, make sure you are logging in where it says 360 login. This process only works in the 360 view. Once you are logged in to Tyler 360, your main screen will look something like you see here. All of your classes will be listed on the left hand side of the screen. And then on the right hand side of the screen, you see this button that says actions. The first thing we're going to want to do is we want to merge each and every one of our course sections and link it to one of your Google Classroom classes. I'm going to link my advanced science class to my advanced science Google Classroom class. I'm going to click on that row and then click the actions button. Under actions, I want to click Google Classroom. A little notification is going to pop up that says, hey, you don't have a class associated with this class yet. If you already have a class set up in Google Classroom, all you have to do is click link to existing class. Once you have clicked, now you're going to scroll down and you're going to link one of your Google Classroom classes and associate it with a class that is in your Tyler. Here's my fifth hour advanced science class. It's not linked to anything yet. I want to get it linked to my Tyler class. A little screen will pop up telling you um, any assignments that may not be able to be merged. There's a couple reasons for this. It says assignments exist for which the due date is either blank or outside of the section dates. So make sure you check your dates when you're assigning in Google Classroom and you need to assign things a due date when you want to import the grades. No due date, then Tyler will not recognize it and will not import it. Now we are ready to start clicking on the assignments that we want to import into Tyler. Okay, now that you have linked together your classes from Tyler and Google Classroom, now it's time to start importing some of those assignments from Google Classroom into Tyler. Just a few clicks of a button and everything should be imported smoothly. Let's start by going into our class that we just merged. I'm going to go into my fifth hour science class. I'm going to hit actions and I'm going to click Google Classroom. Now remember that screen's going to pop up in case you have any assignments that are already in Google Classroom that can't be merged into Tyler because there's either no due date or because the due date is outside of that semester's range. So I'm just going to close that window. I recently gave a notes quiz I gave it in Google Forms. I had Google Forms dump it into Classroom and now Classroom is going to take all of those grades and put those grades right into Tyler for me with just the click of a button. I'm going to check the box that says Notes Quiz. If I had more assignments I wanted it to put in for me, I could click multiple boxes. And I'm going to click the Import button. Once I click Import, I get to pick what category it's going to go into into Tyler. So what kind of assignment is this going to be? I'm going to head and, and have this choose this. We'll call it a quiz because it is a notes quiz. I'm going to hit Import. It says one assignment has been updated. I can go back and pick more assignments or I can close this window and make sure everything imported smoothly. Once I go back into my Tyler page, instead of clicking on Google Classroom under Actions, I'm going to click on Gradebook. Once I click on Gradebook, I should be able to see that assignment that I just had imported from Google Classroom, and I should be able to see all of those grades. Right here, here it is. It says my notes quiz. It says the date that it was given, and here are all the scores directly imported for me. Just a few clicks of a button, and that's all that it took.